In the last lesson we built our setup with the hierarchy node that we have uh, offset in every single object here. Uh, but the problem is still when I move my master around, um, they all follow the master at once. So they all have the same time offset and we want to change that. To do this we can use the same technique that we used to um, make the offset here with the index number of our um, slaves. So let's take a look at our expresso. So here we increased the index number by one that we start with index one and not zero. And then here's our offset, which we multiply with the index number. And we can do the same thing for our memory node here. So I will spread this one out a little bit that we can see it better. Maybe like this. Um, and maybe let's make this window smaller again and take a look at our memory. So we have our history level here. I will decrease it to maybe 10 or something. Um, so we have our history level and every of these objects needs a different history level. So the first one should have 10 frames uh, delay. The second one should have two times 10. The third one, three times 10 and so on. So we can do basically the same then that we did before. So I will take a math. Uh, first of all, we will create a constant node, sorry, constant, and set it to our offset. So every uh, every slave should have uh, 10 frames offset to the previous slave. So this will output 10, and we will create a math, math node, set it to multiply, connect our constant, and we don't have so much space here so connect our constant and then we will create uh, we will connect the index number which inc is increased by one that we don't start with zero and we will uh, connect this one to our multiply node so we multiply this time offset of 10 frames with the index number and connect this one to history level so now if we take a look at our uh, file here and if I now move my object you see that all of uh, our slaves follow the master with an position offset and with the time offset and this is really 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 cool you can do really nice stuff with it and um, if we just change this one from 10 frames delay maybe to 3 frames this is looking really really good so the cool thing is that we built this one with this uh, hierarchy node here. So he always uses this hierarchy here to um, offset them and to time offset them. So which means if we just uh, take these objects here and copy them, sorry, and copy them, nothing will happen for now. But as soon as, as we put these objects also in our hierarchy, he will extend our um, our uh, thing here because uh, we just extended our hierarchy. So he will continue with the hierarchy node to go to go through them, and now uh, they are all offset and they are also time offset. So you can extend this setup as long as you want. Um, there's only one limitation and the limitation is in the memory node because you store right now we only store a hundred frames in the past so if you make a, lo a lot of or let's maybe change this one to 10 so now every um, every slave has a delay or a time offset of 10 frames to the previous one and if we reach um, 10 slaves we have our 100 frames that we look into the past so let's try how it looks right now so you see they are all following this works great but if we extend this one even more and now move it it's still yeah now you see that the last ones all move at once because we haven't stored enough so if something like this happens you just need to click on you to your memory node and type in a higher value here and then it should also work for this one of course if your scene is very complicated and you store a lot of um, data here um, it will get slower but right now it works pretty good we can leave it on this number 
maybe we set this one back to three or something and then we have this really nice delay effect which is always following the master okay so how could we extend this one here maybe we want some custom fields to define the offset of our slaves and the time offset that we don't need to open up Expresso all the time. To do this we can build custom controls. Let's hit stop here and take a look at this one. So we need some user data. I will use um, the master object so when I click on the or maybe the slaves null object. So when we click on the slaves we will get two sliders or two custom fields where we can put in our position offset and the time offset. To do this, click on slaves, user data, add user data, which opens up this window. The first one we will call um, position offset. And this should be a real, sorry, data type. Where's the real? First of all, we set the data type to float because it's a floating number. The interface can also be on float and the unit is real. So now we can type in a, a number here. Um, it should be in one frame steps, uh, sorry, in maybe 0.1. So we can define the offset in 0.1 steps and we don't need a limit here. And the default value can be maybe 100. Okay, then we need another user data and this one we call time offset. And it's also set to float and the unit should be real. We don't need the limit and here maybe we want as a default value 5. Okay, so now if we click on slaves and check user data we have our two custom fields. And now we simply need to connect them to our Expresso setup. So we open up the Expresso editor again and here's our constant for the um, position offset and here's uh, the constant for our time offset. So we need to replace those two nodes. To bring in our user data we just drag in our slaves null object because if I click on the slaves object we have under user data our two fields. So let's bring it in. Create two output ports, user data, and here we find our two um, our two fields, position offset and time offset. And now we can simply um, use this connection from the constant which we created earlier and connect this one to position offset. And we take this one for the time offset. And then we can get rid of those two constants. So this is our uh, custom interface here. So if I close it now, click on slaves, then we have here our offset, which we can define. It was 130 earlier. Well, let's maybe take minus 50 or minus 100. And this one is our time offset, which we can change now pretty easily. So you see, we can change it here. And then I can also say I only want one frame delay and then this one follows pretty uh, directly. Just click on slaves, make this one five and the offset maybe only 10 frames. Then we have something like this, like a worm. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. So in this lesson you learned how you can um, create an uh, offset, a time and a position offset with the hierarchy node and how you can connect a custom user data interface, um, which is this one here, to your Expresso setup to control everything uh, without reopening Expresso again after you finished your setup. Um, in the next lesson we will take a look at another example and um, at a few different nodes.